Buenos días, sugar babies. <laughs> so I am day four post op. I don't feel bad. My face is a little swollen because I slept on my face. So um, like you see right here, I'm a little swollen. I have to figure out how to sleep comfortably. I get my first massage today. I know I should have got my massage after my surgery. Um, or like, you know, a long time ago, maybe day three. But they don't work on the weekends and my surgery was on a Thursday. So I had to wait till Monday anyway. But I'm going to see if I can get two massages today. And um, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm a lot more in positive mindset. Um, a girl died on Friday out here. She was operated on, not by my doctor, by Dr. Torea. And the crazy thing is I met him. And one thing for certain, I'm never ever coming to Dominican Republic ever again for surgery. I don't like the experience that I've had. I don't like the way I've been feeling. Not, not like my health, but um, not feeling safe, having to argue with people not feeling like um like i'm even i don't even feel safe to go up to my doctor because the people the recovery house they referred me to is who did this to me so i don't even feel safe going up there like i will never ever come out here again there's a girl who just got out of surgery i'm not trying to discourage anybody i'm just telling y'all my experience and how i'm feeling i'm never coming out here again there's a girl that had surgery the same day as me she's leaving today because of everything that's going on the negative energy and we shouldn't, you shouldn't go through this for surgery. It should be a positive thing. It should be something fun. You're, you're, you're fixing your body. You're doing something you've always wanted to do. And unfortunately for me, it hasn't been that experience for me. And like, oh, it makes me want to cry right now. Cause I'm out here by myself and it's just oh, so frustrating. But I'm okay. Um. I look good. <laughs> I look good. So that's the good thing. I'm just ready to go home. Um, I see my doctor today at four. And my massage is at 10 a.m. So that's a good thing. Uh, I look good, honey. So that's good. My body looks good. I'm draining. I'm draining a lot. I'm going to ask my massage therapist today if that's okay. I know it's, you know, you have to drain. Um, I know in Miami, they don't let you have drain. Well, not don't let you have them. Um, but some doctors just let you drain out, which is why their faja has blood all over it. Um, I'm very thankful that I have a drain because I don't necessarily want to have blood all over my faja. I like my drain. It collects all of my fluid. Right here. So that is one thing that I really am, um, that's one thing that I'm really appreciative of, that I have a drain because I would hate to have to wake up every day with blood all over me. And my doctor did very little incisions. So I see my booty yesterday after my bird bath and my booty looks really good. I have no scars anywhere. And my incisions down here are super small. You can barely see them. So I won't have any scarring whatsoever. I love my doctor. I will let y'all know who my doctor is, the prices and everything after I heal. I'm not going to let anybody know before then because I just, that's how I'm going to do it. Um, but yeah, a girl did die out here. I'm going to insert pictures of her and the whole, you know, thing on her Facebook. She was 20 years old. So there's a few, it doesn't scare me at all because that's not my doctor. Um, it just it just put some negative energy into the air shit hey what's pop lock and dropping honeys it's your girl malaysia i'm checking in with y'all so i'm finally back home in dallas i didn't really record much my way here because i was just oops, i was just focused on getting home but we're back
feels so good to be home. I've definitely missed Dallas. I was like about I was crying like a baby missing my my babies. They're right here. There's Papa. Mila. Where's Mara? The babies. Back in Dallas, I love it. I'm so happy to be home. So I haven't really unpacked anything yet. I've kind of just been, um, I just got here last night. So I'm not really trying to, um, I'm about to overwork myself, but I am, I have been eating. I just had me some chicken noodle soup from Progresso. And now I'm about to, I have to refill my prescriptions. Well, not my prescriptions, but I need to refill up my my little pills. I'm on my last day here. As you can see, I've been taking all my vitamins and my antibiotics. And then I also have one injection left that I have to take. But I have to find... Ooh, sorry. But I have to find a private nurse to give me my injection because, of course... I can't give myself an injection. That's like cutting yourself, and I, I, I'm not into that, <laughs> into that. But I want to show y'all my body. My body looks really, really good. Of course, I am only like six days post-op. I'm not even a week yet. So this is how I'm looking right now. I kind of move my drain out the way so you can see. I love that I have a natural space between my thighs. I love it. It looks really good exactly what I wanted oh my hair exactly what I wanted get the hair out the way so you can really see the proportions but yeah honey I look so good excuse my living room <laughs> you see this is how it's looking right now I have all my food and stuff there potty pad because Cairo was peeing and I didn't like for like getting anything dirty got that there it's not a hot mess in here it's just you know I cleaned up my counter pretty much I'm really upset that I left my tripod there because now I have to order a new tripod because I'm trying to give y'all angles and you know you can't really see the angles from here I know I sound a little like dual but it's because I just I'm on my, my pain meds, my trauma doll is what I've been taking. I'm trying to see if y'all can, can get y'all a good angle, but it's all black on black, so you're not really gonna be able to see. But uh, I love my waist. Okay, so this is my medicine bag, and I have all of my, don't do that. Redo my pills, and I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. And these are the injections here. I only have one left. I have to find a private nurse, and I've already found me a massage therapist out here. I'm going to go see them tomorrow. Today I'm gonna rest, because I feel like I have been doing too much. I've been like doing way too much. So, let me pull out all the stuff that I take on a daily basis. I take my bromelain, my Opti Recovery Healthy Tissue Heal Fast Pills, my probiotics. I take my stool softener, the antibiotics that they gave me, and then I also have one green pill left. 
and then they have a lot of these also it says only take one a day and then some gas sex my iron pills my melatonin my arnica heal fast pills and then my tramadol and then I have some more antibiotics but these are from my doctor I'm gonna sleep those there so what I start off with first is putting my antibiotics in the case like this like that and of course you want to be able to identify everything you want to know what you're taking I can identify all of my pills these are my opti recovery pills three of them my melatonin pill arnica pill now you can tell your bromelain and your probiotic pill apart you can always remember probiotic is smooth bromelain has a little bit of a dust on it you see how I got dust on my fingers versus probiotic I don't see the difference probiotic is silky bromelain is a little chalky and then your antibiotics, of course, the colorful pills that I have, the blue, the green, and the pink, those are my antibiotic pills. And then the small red one, of course, blood. Just think of blood, you know, iron in your blood is your iron pill. So all of these will help you heal fast and get back on your feet sooner. Of course, I would say take my word for it because look how good I look honey like this surgery has like not really affected me too much the only thing that affected me was my experience in Dominican Republic at the recovery house but other than that your girl has been good what's pop like and dropping honeys <laughs> it's your girl I look like yesterday you already know I'm not even I don't care about doing my hair but none of that shit right now. All I want to do is heal. So, that's so how I'm looking this morning. I'm in a small faha. Oh my goodness! That thing is fat! What the fuck? Hold on. Ah, hold on. Woo, it hurts when I laugh. Yeesh. Alright, so. I wanted to show y'all a little something, something. Okay, so I just wanted to show y'all something because whenever you are having a BBO or whenever you're healing from a BBO, you need to be able to tell when your drain is clogged. Now, your drainage should look something like this color here. Of course, it's okay if it's really dark red the first couple days from of your surgery because mine was dark red, but it eventually has lightened up to this color here. This is my drain and it'll all go into here I'm about to empty my drain out now if it's a dark red and it looks like it's a boogery like it, it, it looks like it's clogged you'll know when your drain is clogged because you could just tell like I have common sense and I was able to tell that my drain was clogged this is what it'll look like when it is clogged this is a long piece of hard blood as you can see 
it's like gooey it's like whenever you're on your period and you know you see a little glue drop out that right there is what will clog you all you do is squeeze on the little part of your drain if you know you know just squeeze until you could get some of it out and then pinch it and pull it out and it'll come out like this and now your drain is unclogged I just unclogged my drain I still have my drain in I'm one week post-op as of today I won't be taking my drain out until probably I feel like next week I'll try to go get it taken out I love my results I love my results honey <laughs> let me see how much this ass weighs I am 165 right now he did exactly what I wanted one thing I love about my body is I already have a natural space between my legs so it's not rubbing and I'm going to be compressing my top to get to an extra small and of course the bottom I won't be trying to lose any of that weight but he did my hips so nicely like it all goes right into my body it looks good baby so let me go ahead and empty my drain out thankfully my nurse showed me how to do this before I came back to America plop this baby back on but of course before you do that get your disinfectant wipes I keep all my wipes right here in arms reach just make sure it stays clean because sometimes this can rub up against your vagina want it to be rubbing up against it if it's dirty just like that now of course everybody should know how to put their drain on you should always learn how to do that some doctors don't give you a drain I'm thankful that my doctor does Bam. there we go I'm back draining so the suction is what it's like it's kind of like slowly sucking the like the drainage out of you which I really like And here later I'm going to see if I can drive because I'm not trying to do no Ubers or wait for people I want to go ahead and get what I need to get done all I need to do today is find me a massage therapist and I need to get an injection so I need to find a private nurse so yeah I'm trying to see if this is gonna drain it look like it's draining
draining. I'm not draining that much anymore, so that's really good. But I know I still have a lot of fluids because right here, as you can see, this part, it goes in though. I compress that all the way in. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I am draining, yay. Cool. Make sure that I'm doing it right. I'm draining perfectly. So there we go. Hmm. So now I'm just gonna clean up my crib a little bit, get settled, wash my face, and go up here and get my massage. I found a Chinese lady to do my massage. I really wanted a Chinese lady to do my massage because I just feel like they're so good at massages and that's why I wanna do mine. So I'm gonna do what I can do to get cleaned up and get the fuck up out of here.
Honeys. Oh. Ah. <laughs> it's your girl was pop lock and dropping so I just got my food for breakfast and I want to show y'all because it looks so good you know so I got some avocado toast mm -hmm. I'll be making that and then I got me a nutty bowl and then I got me a avocado breakfast wrap because you know avocado feeds the fat as well as salmon and mostly omega-3 foods like oysters you know your girl loves some oysters so i'm gonna give you a quick body check so i am day 10 post-op thank goodness i'm almost done draining because honey i'm ready to get this i'm ready to get this drain out okay <laughs> like i can't stand it but this is how i'm looking with the booty, bow, 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 from the bed. If you can see, since I got all this black on, cute bubble butt. One, I've already, I've always had ass, so I'm not really tripping about the ass. I'm just happy I got hips. I got hips, honey. Do you see these hips? Like he did that. And then I also detoxed last night, so my belly is really flat right now. And thank goodness I don't have bat wing arms. Like my arms are very nice and fit. Thank goodness because there were a lot of girls there that had to get arm lipo, chin lipo, thigh lipo, and all of that. So I'm very thankful that I already have a space between my legs. And my arms are nice. So literally all I needed was 360 lipo and a BBL. I'm very, very, very happy with my results. I can't wait to get out this faha so I can start putting this pussy on my my boob. You know what I mean? Say that. Ah! Ooh, get it, get it. You already know what I mean. <laughs> let me eat because I'm starving, honey. I'm starving. First, let me try this avocado toast. Why is it cold? Who wants cold avocado toast? And a lot of girls were asking me how many days before my surgery was I supposed to stop smoking and things like that. I smoked weed all the way up until the day I left the Dominican Republic. I don't personally think. Um, so when you get there, they have you do a lung test to make sure that you're able to go under and get the anesthesia. My lungs were fine. My lungs are fine. I smoke joints. I don't smoke tobacco or gars, I don't smoke cigarettes, and I don't vape. I only smoke weed. Weed is harmless to your system. I had no issues with my anesthesia, I had no issues with my lungs, and I'm smoking now as far as like pain management. Now, if you think weed is gonna hurt you, how do you feel about Percocets? So if you have a problem with smoking, me smoking weed, how come you don't have a problem with me popping a Percocet when Percocet has heroin in it? 
I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you, I still want you. Let me try the avocado toast now that I warmed it up some. That's better. That's better. Hmm. And then I got a breakfast wrap with eggs, avocado. Um, I gotta read what's all in here. Which comes with toasted organic black bread, organic avocado, organic cheddar, cheddar cheese, organic eggs, organic tomatoes, organic Himalayan pink, sea salt, organic olive oil, and organic black pepper. Mm. Really good. My body was the last thing that I wanted to do. That way I could focus on going back to school and getting my esthetician's license for my skincare line. He's trying to figure out how to get in there with her. He's like, I miss you. I love his big mama. Girl, I'm gonna need to teach you how to throw that thing. You go get your man. Look, she looks sad. She's like, he don't want me. Them buddies. He thinks that's his homeboy. That is not your homeboy. That's your girlfriend. That is not your girlfriend. Girl, I'm getting your pussy cut off. And I found somebody that'll do it for 80 bucks. We taking all her ovaries out. Coochie getting cut off. You see him? Fucking hoe. I don't know what to do. It's because he busted his first nut on her thigh. It's my fault because I wasn't being enough like strict about it. Like, no, you over here, you over here. And I left the room for a second. Next thing I come back, his dick is all out. His whole dick was out. Ever since that moment, he I even tried to make him hump Camila. It don't work. I separate them. It don't work. I'm not letting her out. I'm not letting her out. What's pop lock and dropping honeys? I'm checking in with y'all. Today is Monday. I'm feeling really good today. I'm looking really good today. And I have big, a big announcement. So as a lot of y'all know, I have a skincare line called Poo Nanny Box, which I hand make myself with all natural organic products, etc. So I finally decided that you know a lot of girls want to meet me want to be around me want to get you know services done by me and i don't know why i didn't do this a long time ago but i'm finally launching my poo i'm finally launching my poo nanny box lounge i've already made my business cards let me show you girl poo nanny box lounge and of course on the back i have to update this because i've got new services now that i have and these are of course i laminated them so that way you know they'll look better when i hand them out and stuff like that so i made them myself of course you know i like to do everything myself because do it if you want it done right do it yourself if you don't know how to do it then of course let somebody else do it but me i know how to do pretty much anything that i put my mind to so i'm opening for box lounge i'm going to insert you know a little video right here of all the services that i have i'll be doing of course my full body sensual massages body sculpting i ordered a whole bunch i, I spent like a thousand fifteen hundred dollars on body sculpting equipment because i'm going to be sculpting my own body and that's perfect promotion for my body sculpting techniques whenever i show you guys my results of course you're going to want to come and get them services done by the best and i ordered a whole bunch of high-tech equipment and then of course with my skincare line i'm going to be doing facials and vajayshals of course <laughs> hello you might as well come get a facial by me <laughs> and then also vajayshals of course my punani area it is my punani area matches my skin thank you jesus and thanks to my skincare line that I've been using for now two, a year and a half. It's almost been two years. So, and then I'll also be doing um, body detox. I have my own handmade detox tea, Sugar Baby Fitness, which has helped me tremendously as far as bloating and stuff goes. And I'm gonna sit down for a second because I'm getting a little winded and it is hot. 
And then I also want to talk to y'all a little bit more deeply because I know people are going to be like, you just got a BBL, you didn't even sculpt your body, et cetera, et cetera. But what a lot of girls don't know is just because you got a BBL doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. I know girls that have a BBL, had a BBL, they got rolls now, they don't look like they had a BBL, and they completely let themselves go. You have to maintain your BBL. You can't just get a BBL and you're set for the rest of your life. You have to maintain it. So I, of course, invested in a whole bunch of equipment because I'm really, I'm already a licensed masseuse. So I was like, I might as well do my own massages on myself instead of spending all that extra money. And, and instead of spending all that extra money on other people, I can just spend it and invest in my own business, which I did. I have my facials, vajayshals, body sculpting, my full body sensual massages. I'll also be doing hair sew-ins, full sew-ins, sew-ins with leave out, wig sew-ins, because as a lot of y'all know, some of you may or may not know, I'm a wig assassinator, honey, when it comes to hair. I am that motherfucking bitch, okay? When it comes to hair, do not play with me. I love to do hair. And so I'll be doing my sew-ins, and of course, eyelash extensions. I do my own lashes. I'll be doing bundle lash extensions and individual lashes if you want them i personally like bundle lashes because it just looks better and it gives you that pretty bat you know that bad eye that you like so yeah lash extensions the whole nine honey and then of course the body detox all things maintenance i will be doing at my punani box lounge Check that booty. <laughs> And I gotta go get my Faha tailored because it is loose. As you can see, I got all these foam boards, ab boards in it. My stomach is shrinking. When they say compress, compress, compress. Sorry, I had a protein shake and it kind of got on me, but compress. Because if you don't compress, you will swell up. So compress. Like he took all the fat out of my stomach. Like I look like I'm 21 again in my stomach area. I fucking love it. Cause I naturally already have abs, so you can see my abs already. You can see my contouring on my stomach. So here and about, I give it a, the rest of the month, maybe the middle of August, I'll be able to like show my belly and be comfortable with it. Because right now I still kind of have lipo belly. Of course, I just had lipo 11 days ago. Hey, honeys, what's pop lock and drop in? I'm checking in with y'all. It is Monday. Yes, yeah, Monday. And my light is super bright. I charged it up. Everything's looking really good right now. My skin is popping. Get into it. And talking about my skin, some of my skincare equipment that I just ordered came in the mail. I got me a, a diamond dermabrasion. Some, well, I got some new diamond dermabrasion equipment. I've done microdermabrasion before. But, um, of course, diamond dermabrasion is a lot more fancy, more high maintenance, you know. And of course, I told y'all about my, um, I told y'all about my lounge that I'm going to be opening. And this is going to be something that I'll be using for my facials and for my vajayshals. That way your experience could be better. Because I definitely love the diamond dermabrasion idea. I love what diamond dermabrasion does for the skin. Because not everybody has the same skin. Some people's skin is a little bit more rough, has more blackheads, more whiteheads, just things like that. And so I wanted to invest in as much equipment that I could, that I could get. Um, well, I really wanted to get everything, anything that I need. That way I can target all types of skin. That way I could treat all types of skin. And of course with my skincare line, Punani Box is an all natural and all organic line that itself does like wonders um i feel like my skincare line does miracles for your skin does wonders for your skin i've never had anybody tell me that my skincare line did not work it did not help them in any way i would be selling out right now but i haven't restocked my skincare line because i just got surgery and i'm about to move and i need to set up my office so i need to do one thing at a time i can't overwhelm myself and i'm also not the type of person who's going to be running a business and putting and, ha and having a lot of back orders you know some businesses they look like they're popping because they have a like four or five months of back backed up orders and i'm not about to do that to myself or to my customers so 
while I'm getting things in order, I'm going to just take a break. You know, I already know my skincare line is good and my customers will wait for me because, you know, skin doesn't lie. Results don't lie. I don't ever wear makeup. Never mind. <laughs> hey, stop. My under eyes are not dark. You know, I'm good. Show you. Ooh, I'm so excited. It's so big. I love it. I spent a lot of money on all the equipment that I ordered. And I'm not even done ordering stuff. I still have a few more things that I want to get. Oh, it's in my fucking pocket. I'm looking at my other phone. But I had one of my daddies send me a thousand dollars because I wanted to buy some more equipment. <laughs> I could have had one, two. I could have had probably asked for like three, four more thousand dollars. Probably four, five thousand dollars, but you know I don't like to overdo it because I like to you know longevity. <laughs> I'm stupid, but no, for real, no. I asked one of my daddies for a thousand dollars because I wanted to buy some more equipment, and he sent it to me because I don't like using my money. I like to use other people's money, so he sent it to me. So I'm gonna buy a few more things that I want. Ooh. Look how big it is. I love it. It's so big. Like, I feel so professional now. Ooh. Honey, I'm excited. Yes. I'm going to keep this in its case, though. But OMG, I love it. This is so fucking dope. If you haven't, go ahead and go check out my website link, Hunani Box Lounge. If you're in Dallas, Texas, let me treat you, honey. I do massages, body sculpting, facials, vajayshals, eyelash extensions, sew-ins. I make wigs. If you got bundles and you made into a wig, I'm your curl. Sew-ins will leave out or full sew-in, honey. I do all of that. Body detox. If you need some body detox tea, hit me up. $40 make you holla. I'll give you a gallon of my detox tea. One whole gallon that I made, especially for you. <laughs> I'm caught there with the butt. Diamond dermabrasion machine that I got. Yes super cute get back it doesn't get scratched up more trash to throw away and then tomorrow wait I think all this stuff said it's out for delivery oh yeah wait oh it's Tuesday it's not Monday, y'all. It's Tuesday. All my stuff is out for delivery right now. I'm so excited. So I got a whole bunch of wood therapy equipment. A scraper. A body contouring machine. And then I got red light therapy. Red light cupping. I got this cellulite machine. It's also really good for my stomach. I ordered honestly all of this stuff for myself. Like the wood therapy, the body contouring machine, everything body contouring, I ordered it for myself because I added up how much it would cost for my massages. So you gotta complete at least 10 massages and you're paying at least 60 bucks plus for each massage, which is gonna come out to like $600 um, plus, you know, whatever else. And so I was like, instead of just spending $600, why don't I just spend like $1,000 and order all of the equipment that I'm going to need, that I'm going to be going to people, like, for them to use on me? I'm already a licensed masseuse. I can learn how to, like, do that stuff myself. So I can learn how to do that stuff myself. So I was like, let me just order all this stuff and I'm going to learn it. I'm going to, I'm going to practice on myself. And if my results come out popping, I'm going to start doing it for y'all, you know, like might as well. And then you're not even having to pay that much. Like I don't even charge that much. So it's going to be really, really dope. 
for sure, for sure. From my, from my knowledge, when you get a BBL your first round, you have to have a drain to make sure you're draining properly. Of course, some doctors don't give a drain for the first time, which is why people have videos of themselves bleeding all over the place. So thankfully, my doctor gave me a drain. That way I'm not leaking all over the place. I have one incision up here, an incision here. I have one incision up here, an incision here, and an incision literally like right in between my butt crack. You can't even see it. And then I have two incisions above my pelvis. They're all very little incisions. I won't scar, like he did a really good job. So one of my incisions had a drain and I finally got my drain out. I wish I would have recorded it, but my friend didn't want us to record it just in case something went wrong or whatever. Here is my fucking drain. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, it's not a big deal. So this, ooh, this is the part of the drain from here. This was the part that was hanging out of me like this. Let me show you. So this part of the drain was sitting here like this, and then I'm draining like this. Okay. So my friend just took all of this out from inside me. All of this from right here up, as you, you can tell because this part of the blood is red and all of this is dead because it was no air to it, which is why it's that color. So all of this, my friend just pulled out of me and I didn't feel a thing. The doctor told me, I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna hurt. Because of course I had a bad experience happen, so I left early. So I didn't get to, get the, I didn't get to have them take my drain out, but I am so happy that this thing is out of me because when I tell you this was so uncomfortable to sleep with, like I still don't understand how the fuck this was in, this was all inside of me just now. See, I didn't research that. Like I didn't know that. So things you don't know, you don't know they finna, if you got a drain, this is how much drain gonna be in your ass. And that's why a lot of doctors didn't want to touch it because sometimes pieces of the drain get stuck. Thankfully, he got all of it out. Oof, thank you, Jesus. Like, I'm so happy to have this. This shit was starting to burn me. That is crazy. I cannot believe that. My belly is so small, it doesn't, it makes zero bit of sense how small this is what I'm looking like on the sides. And of course, this is my back. This is my front. And I'm not even done. I could still compress more. I'm gonna compress to about that way. The way my ass looks bigger. This is my back. I'm gonna compress about like that. And I'm gonna keep compressing my sides. So I cut my lipofoams in half. That way I could put them on my sides, like wrap it around right here. So the bees here. to go get this water. Put my Birkenstocks on. touching I'm sitting on my thighs I 
got this pillow it's called ultra comfort um you want to get the ultra comfort pillow off of amazon because that's about the only pillow that stays firm all the other pillows once you sit on them they flatten and i'm so fucking beautiful like it makes literally no sense thank you jesus i'm still comfortable and i can still drive now i know y'all are like get black hair dye for what but i know y'all see that little brown my blonde that was underneath is like coming back through and i don't like that it needs to be completely all black it bothers me y'all it's your girl malaysia thank you so much for watching my channel don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when i drop a new vlog don't forget scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed